Well, you know, Tom, it's 2023 and a lot of people have had writing a book, publishing a book on their bucket list for a long time. We've done almost a thousand books. In fact, we'll do our thousandth book this year. We're at 912 right now. You've ghostwritten about 500 plus books and we've published 715 books. But you I love it when you tell the story when we're on a Zoom with these authors and you tell the story about being four years old. And somebody changed your life with a book. How'd that go? That's crazy. Four years old. uh, I I was uh, attending a conference with my dad in Peoria, Illinois. He took me along. It's a little, little run. And uh, we were going up to our room in an elevator. And back then, you didn't have buttons that you push. You had elevator operators. They sat in a chair and on a stool in the corner, and they they were they were doing this thing like this that would uh, make the elevator go up and down. And then it was a gate to look, and they had one the little hat. I yep. mean, it was too funny. And uh, and I don't remember hardly anything of going backwards. But I remember every piece of this because he got us to the floor. And just me and my dad we went up a little bit, down a little bit, up a little bit, got it done, hold the gate back, hold the door open, and then we walked out and started walking down the hall, and I hear this, hey, kid. I turned around, and just I turned around, boom, something hit me in the chest, and I looked down and picked it up, and it was an 80-page Superman annual comic book in 1960. Oh, my goodness. And, and um, uh, of course, I couldn't read or anything, and he said, I'm done with it. You're going to have it. So I went back to the hotel room with my dad, and over the next uh, few months, I taught myself to read out of this comic book. Now, the, the funny thing is, is that when I started school then, in first grade, no kindergarten, book, I was reading full on. I had a stack of comic books. Nobody could read when they went to first grade. Uh, my, my, my mom was embarrassed because the nuns were going, wow, how did Tommy learn to read? And back then, comic books were, oh, I don't know. I don't know how that happened. But the point is, is that I fell in love with reading. I was in all the, all the top history groups, all the top English groups, because it was all about reading. We don't want you to sell books one at a time. We want you to sell them box loads at a time. That's right. Well, can you struggle to get the words on paper? Or if you're somebody that your friends and family say, you should write a book, and for 10 years you haven't been able to get it done, this webinar is for you. Go to Beyond Ghostwriting. Dot com. In one hour, you're going to get a storytelling master class. Sometimes they've been wanting it for 15, 20 years. The only thing that makes it the right time to do a book is to decide to do it. And maybe we can be some inspiration on, uh, you know, in our, our time together to help people realize 2023 is the time that they can do it. does, Tom. It gives you control of the time capsule. It lets you go back in time and open the door and come out wherever you want. Now, you had an exciting thing happen because you were in every Barnes and Noble in America with your Harry Moon series, the number one selling children's series in North America for eight to 11 year olds. And you sold half a million of those books endorsed by Disney. What was it like getting the call from Diamond Publishers, Diamond Distributors? Tell me that. That was a shock because, um, uh, you know, we've written a lot of these books. I'll even hold one up here, reminding you what they look like, Mike. Um, but I'd heard that the number one thing that you can do to help your book sell is to have more of them. And so uh, we did 23 books in 36 months. And so uh, I got a call from Diamond Distributors. They are the only distributor for all of the comics and graphic novels worldwide. They said they wanted me to come out and meet with them in, uh, in uh, uh, Baltimore. And I said, but I got a children's series. This is, and so I said, well, we want to talk to you. So I went out, I'm sitting in their lobby, holding my books and looking on the walls, Superman, Batman, Iron Man, Walking Walking Dead. I was like, what am I doing in here? So I go inside and I talk to them and they, they, they loving the books. They go, we want to distribute your books. I said, but why? These, this, these are children's books. And they said, because uh, uh, you've got a series. You've got books that are connected to each other. That's what we sell. And surprisingly, we like books that have values in them. We like books that are wholesome. So even though I'm looking at Walking Dead and all these other things, they're looking for stories like this. So you, 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 but, 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 I don't have the opportunity unless I have books in motion. So you can't do anything unless you have books. And you miss, you miss an opportunity when you don't pull the trigger. That's right. And, and for the book to give you credibility, to get you on stages, to get you media, to create a movement, the movement starts with the pebble, which is that first book that becomes the ripple that creates the 
aha moment because I, we were selling books on Amazon one at a time. We were selling them to parents one at a time. Uh, going, uh, you know, book signings one at a time. I get a call while I'm out in my garden. It's a, it's a school in Indiana. Hey, will you come out and speak to our kids about your, your books? They said, oh, sure. I, I love doing that. I love doing that. They said, uh, can we buy some books for the kids? Yeah. They said, we would like to order 1100 Marketplaces that we could sell books at parties. Much more, much rather sell a book, 36 books, 360 books, 1500 books, rather than sell a book. And so that influences much of what you and I do now when we write our books. Who's going to buy the books? Uh, and how do we uh, sell them to them in, in large quantities? Beyondghostwriting.com. Register now to fill up fast. It's a storytelling masterclass. What you're going to learn is who is who is your target reader reading right now? What podcast are they listening to right now? You're going to learn how to write the book backwards. That's what Tom's going to teach you here. And so don't miss it. Get registered. And we'll see you there.